All right, hi, Tim Muggert here with some web design tips. Um, I am looking at my mathforeverybody.com site, um, and I'm in the background of the WordPress admin. And I use this one with students. Um, I want to talk today about this quizzes and surveys plugin. So it's got a bunch of things here, but let me show you how to set up a simple multiple choice um, quiz with this plugin. Now let's, let's just hold on and just make sure I get the name right. Okay, so if we go down here, the plugin is, where is it? Quiz and Survey Master is what it looks like. It's a free plugin, um, and it's easy to make. All right, so first thing I'm gonna do is click on Quizzes and Surveys, and I can see how many people view, viewed the quiz, how many people took the quiz, uh, so forth. Um, this one on 411, 43 people took it. Um, and these are bonus quizzes I give to my students to help prepare for the SAT. So I want to add a new one. This is during the vacation, but I'm offering bonus if any students go during the vacation and take the quiz, if you have. So this is a bonus SAT quiz, okay? And the date is uh, the 18th. So I'm going to create this quiz, okay? All right, so now if I go to it, it won't have any questions. All right, so let's uh, create some questions. All right, so I'm going to click Edit. Okay, create a new page, create a new question. And it brings up this nice window where I can type in the question. So let's say... Let me think of something. Uh, if, uh, let's say, x minus 1, or x minus 2, because I just typed 2, divided by 3 equals 4, uh, equals k, and k equals 4, what is x? Okay? So now, this is the regular text editor. Now, if I want to make this fraction look a little bit better, I can add some HTML code, and I can go into my text to do that. And to do that, I'll superscript the top part of it with some HTML code and then subscript the bottom part of it with some HTML code. I can type it right in here. Okay, and then I can go back to my visual and look at that. It looks more like a fraction. Now, there's some other things I want to do. If I highlight that and hit Control I, that's going to make it italicized. Highlight that, Control I, and I'll do that with each variable italicize it a little bit, makes it a little bit more math feeling. Uh, that's not really a technical term, but anyway, so uh, now I don't have any answers, so I could add some answers. So let's do out this problem. And if a student's watching me um, make this and then takes the quiz, well, they're going to get 100, but at least they were paying attention during uh, to a video, um, educational video during the break. So I would say x minus 2 over 3 equals k, k is 4, so x minus 2 over 3 uh, equals 4, or 4 over 1. If I do my cross multiplication, I get x minus 2 equals 12, add 2 to both sides, I get x equals 14. So we want that as one of my answers, but I also want some fake answers. So let's start with 4, that's going to be a fake answer, and that's going to be worth 0 points. And then let's do 7, that's going to be 0 points as well. C will make the correct answer. It's going to be worth a point. And I'm going to mark that it's correct. Okay, and then um, I'm going to add one more fake answer. Um, let's say Fender, and this is going to be a ridiculous answer. Fender Squire uh, Standard Stratocaster. It's going to be, <laughs> going to be one answer. Um, Thinking about getting a guitar, I've been watching a lot of guitar videos, so uh, Fender Squire Standard Strat is probably not the correct answer. Okay, we can answer uh, correct answer info, so I would say for the correct answer, substitute 4 in for K, then cross multiply, and solve for X. Now, we could go into more depth of that, but we're doing a quick video here. So, all right, so I'm going to save that question. 
I want to make this a four quiz question, so I'm going to create a new question. All right, I'm going to think of something good. Uh, so let's say if uh, Billy went to the market and spent and, and purchased an item for six fifty before paying a six percent sales tax, how much did Billy spend in total? That's a good question. A very real world problem. We have uh, 650, and to figure that out, we're going to multiply 650 times 1.06. So I'm just going to do that because that incorporates the sales tax. So 6.5 times 1.06. Uh, and the correct answer is going to be $6.89 when I do that out. So let's add some incorrect answers. So 1 1 would be 650. And this is for someone who doesn't take into correct account. Um, let's add six dollars to six fifty and make another incorrect. Answer. We'll get twelve fifty. That's going to be not correct. Um, let's add another answer. Um, let's make it nine eighty nine. Okay. And then finally, let's add the correct answer of six eighty nine. All right, so I put my point there. And I'm going to say, well, for correct answer info, um, you will have to multiply um, 650 by 1.06, 100 percent plus, or 100 percent of the cost plus. A six percent sales tax as a number with a decimal to find the total amount Billy spent. Okay, and that's very simple. Okay, I'm not going to give them any hints or categorize it. I'm just coming up with a nice, easy quiz for midweek. Hopefully. All right. Um, let's do. A uh, quick system of equations. All right, so we're going to have a system of equations uh, 2x plus 3y equals 5 and x minus 3y equals 8. Okay, um, and I'll here I'll say. Given the following system of equation equations, uh, where do the two lines meet? Okay, and that's a good problem because they have to solve this system of equations and figure out the x y coordinate uh, where they meet. So and I made it so they can add them together. So if I add them together, I'm going to get three x. The y's are going to cancel out. That's going to equal thirteen. So x. The x-coordinate is going to be 13 thirds. So that's a little hard. It's a fraction. Okay. Um, and then the y-coordinate, so we'll plug that in. And we're going to get 26 over 3 plus 3y equals 5. Now, converting the fraction, uh, so that's 15 over 3. So uh, 3y is going to equal negative 11 over 3. And I'm doing this kind of quickly. Um, that's the way it goes. And then divide 3y by 3, I get negative 11 ninths. So my coordinate where they meet is going to be 13 thirds, negative 11 ninths. Okay, so I'm going to have to add some answers. So I'm going to add an incorrect answer by doing the coordinate factors to be sneaky. And with the answers, you really can't get a fraction that easily. You can't do as much, but this is still a great plugin. I mean, you can understand. Um, and we'll make the next one the correct answer. So 13 thirds, negative 11 ninths. Okay, these are bonus points being added onto their grade for taking it. Uh, we'll make kind of an odd answer. This one's off. Um, okay, so and then one crazy answer. Um, 
It'll be Fender, Squire, Telecaster. Okay, and that's going to be worth zero points. All right, and then the correct answer info, um, add the two equations together to uh, cancel y out, solve for x, then plug x back into one of the original equations to find y. Write your point of intersection in the form inter see it checks your spelling intersection in the form x y okay period all right and we're gonna save that question i like that question okay so last one um create a question all right so let's say we'll do an exponential. So if y equals 2 to the x power, now I'm going to have to go back into the text, uh, then what is the y value when x equals um, 4? Okay. All right. And then we'll come here. And we'll superscript the x because we want it exponential. All right, and then we're going to add the correct answer. So, so 2 to the 4th power is 16, and I'm going to make the first one the correct answer this time. Then I'm going to do 2 to the 5th power, which is 32. That's going to be 0 points. Um, then 2 to the 3rd power, which is 8, which is also 0 points. And then I'm going to add a ridiculous answer at the end. Um, Okay, uh, it's going to be Fender, Squire, Mustang, or Jazzmaster guitar. Um, okay, and that's going to be worth zero points. Is that obviously not the answer to the math problem? All right, correct answer answer info. Um, okay, so uh, just uh, multiply to. Uh, 2 by 2 by 2 by 2 to get 16. Okay. All right, and then I'm going to save that question, and I'm going to save all the questions here. Okay, the questions and pages were saved. Do it again. Okay, they were saved. Now I'm going to add the contact that they're going to give me. I'm going to add a new field. I want their name, first off, so I know who took it. And it's going to be used for name. I'm going to require the name. Uh, so students don't enter in other students' names. I'm going to have student ID number. I'm going to require that. And then finally, I'm going to require student email. And that's going to be used for email. And I'm going to require that. And then I'm going to save my contact fields. Now, for options... Um, I'm going to have points. Okay. And anyone can pretty much take this quiz. But, all right. Um, leaderboard, I'm not going to worry about that. Emails. This will shoot me a ton of emails if I don't turn this off. And I don't want them getting a ton of emails either. So, I just know they took it. So, that's my final option to save. Now, I can go here and I can see the past result quizzes, but those have student names on them, so I'm not going to do that. But if I go here, it's going to give me short code. Okay? And I'm going to copy that short code. Then I'm going to go to the home page because I, I switch the quiz every day. So I'm going to click on the home page. This is the bonus quiz from yesterday. That's expired as of 8 a.m. this morning. Um, anyone who took it, uh, I'm still giving points. But as soon as I take it off the site, Time. So I'm deleting yesterday's quiz, pasting in today's quiz, and changing the date, hitting update. And that's how you use Quiz and Survey Master, I think is what it's called. Let me check again. I want to get the, the name correct. So that is Quiz, yeah, Quiz and Survey Master to put quizzes on your website. And there are a lot more you can do besides multiple choice. I'm using them for a multiple choice uh, easy quiz to give my students. 
but you can give open answered questions. You can do all kinds of different answer formats. It's a great plugin. Check it out. All right. And free. So thanks for watching and have a good day. Bye.